Welcome again to the Theories of Everything program. I'm David Tower. Viewers, in our previous program, we examined one of the two major outstanding puzzles confronting cosmologists today. That was the nature of dark matter. Now, dark matter, the unseen mass that surrounds galaxies and exists throughout the universe, is understood to exist because the current uh, ordinary matter that we can see is just not sufficient to hold those galaxies together. And it also doesn't account for the nature, the spatially flat nature of the universe that's predicted by the inflationary model and has been since confirmed uh, by, by the satellite probes examining the cosmic microwave background. Einstein's theory predicts that if the universe is spatially flat, then there has to be a critical density of mass and energy to maintain that shape. And at the moment, it appears from the latest theories that the amount of ordinary matter, baronic matter, half of which only is, is apparent, because half of it's hidden in the form of burnt out stars, planets, and perhaps a lot of gas that's been drawn in from the outside space into, into the galactic centers and heated up. But that 4% is around is nowhere near enough to reach that critical density and uh, so the search has been on for dark matter and uh, there's a number of candidates as we discussed in the previous program the candidates and the most promising candidates include exotic sorts of particles that were created in the Big Bang perhaps in other dimensions of the original universe and they're still here today and they feel the force of gravity and therefore clump in uh, around, the, around the halos of the galaxies that we can see. And that appears from the latest theories, the latest evidence, to be to account for around about 23% of the total mass energy required to keep the universe uh, cosmologically consistent, if you like. So that's a total of 27%. So there's a missing amount of mass energy, around about a large chunk of it, in fact, around about 73%. So our discussion in this program will centre on the nature of this dark energy, this force that's expanding, currently expanding the universe, uh, the components of this dark energy, and perhaps where it came from in the first place. So viewers, over the past year, cosmologists have literally been having a field day because the first results are coming in from the new uh, microwave background probe, the so-called MAP probe, which superseded the COBE probe originally in 1992. And it's producing some stunning results because it works at a much finer resolution. And it's given cosmologists their first true analysis of the nature of the universe. For example, its age, 13.7 billion years, three times the age of the Earth. It's confirmed that the universe is flat, uh, spatially flat as predicted by inflationary theory and Einstein's equations. It's uh, predicted the, or it's given, it's provided the rate of expansion of the universe, which is quite, quite critical, the so-called Hubble constant which is around about 71 kilometres per second, 0.3.3 million light years as, as you go out to the farthest reaches of, the, of space. It increases in speed by that amount. And uh, most importantly, uh, the distribution of mass energy in the universe, the ratio of ordinary matter to dark matter to dark energy. Now, how is this achieved? Well, it was achieved because the mapping of the, uh, of the microwave background radiation which emanated from the Big Bang, which emanated basically from about 380,000 years after the Big Bang, this radiation, which was stretched to the microwave spectrum, 
um, shows minor variations in temperature. And these minor variations have been picked up which, with much greater resolution, as I said, by the MAP probe. There's only a variation of about 25 millionths of a degree. Uh, but it's enough to show where the peaks, where the early galaxies formed. Um, because the early galaxies were formed around the original fluctuations that occurred in that initial force field that drove inflation. And the, whether the, whether the uh, fields are dense or not says whether the, produces the variations in temperature, slight variations in heat and cold. But MAP produces a lot more information than this because it actually, within those blobs, within those uh, early accretions of density, there are peaks and valleys also which reflect the sloshing of early ordinary matter, baronic matter, within the early universe, backwards and forwards. And that sloshing or acoustics wave, so-called, actually reflects the distribution of the different types of matter in the universe because they have different mechanical properties. Therefore, it gives the ratio of ordinary matter to dark matter from that distribution of peaks and valleys. It shows the radiation, the variances in radiation. And this is absolutely fantastic because, again, then that leaves the amount of dark energy that has to be accounted for at around 73%. Of course, it wasn't, this wasn't understood at all back in 1929 after Einstein had developed his major, his, his major work on general relativity. Hubble was the first to see that the universe was receding, was a dynamic entity. The blobs out there weren't just faint stars, they were galaxies and they were moving away. Previously, it had been thought that our Milky Way was it, the whole galaxy, uh, the, whole, the whole universe, instead of just one galaxy. And Einstein assumed that too, but he wondered why, of course, why it didn't implode from, the, from gravitation. So he stuck an extra factor into his equations called the cosmological constant to account for that, the, to balance that, uh, uh, the gravitational force. But then Hubble discovered that the force was there anyway, so that constant Einstein felt probably wasn't needed, was totally unnecessary and thought he'd made a major mistake. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a moment. But to actually now pin down the ratios of ordinary matter, dark matter and dark energy is a major, major accomplishment in cosmology. So now, viewers, we're getting to the heart of the nature of dark